For at least 2,500 years, people have been creating designs on textiles by using melted wax to resist dye. In Japan, this is known as Roketsu Zomi, or Rozomi. First, a drawing is made and transferred to the back of fine silk. Then a sizing made of dried soybeans blended with water is brushed on the surface. While the silk is damp, the first layer of concentrated acid dye is applied to the front surface with special Japanese surikomi brushes. Blending may take as long as an hour. When this is dry, molten wax is brushed onto the back of the silk to cover the area of the design which will remain this color. Then two layers of wax are brushed on the front of the silk to make a strong resist. Next the silk is dampened again and the second dyeing is done. This dyeing and waxing can be repeated as many times as necessary for the design. I often do as many as 20 layers. It can take as long as two weeks. Here I'm getting a second color during the same dyeing using the Sudikomi brush to push it up against the wax sky line and then blending it down. Any dye that's left on top of the wax must be wiped off. This is a technique called Rofabuki, a wax snowstorm. I'm using a row brush, gives a nice calligraphic line, special Japanese brush made of sheep hair with no metal. This is the third dyeing. The piece was dampened. Again, on the third dyeing, I'm able to get two colors. Pushing that nice dark color up against the wax line and blending it down. This is the third waxing using the row brush to get nice calligraphic strokes, giving some shape to the mountain. And more row for Buki. Now, this has been another dyeing. Another waxing. This will be the final dyeing of the mountain itself. After this, it will be coated with wax. And here, this is the final dyeing on the meadow. There's very little room for the dye to penetrate here. Most of the piece is now covered with wax. After this, the piece will be ironed to get the wax, as much of the wax out as possible. It will be steamed, it will go to the dry cleaner, it will be washed, mounted, and framed with conservation glass, conservation framing.